Hey guys, how are you doing today? So one of my most requested videos is probably this one. Under almost every other video I make, you guys ask Sandy, how can I write the perfect CV? So today I'm gonna try and get to answering that as close as possible. Um, with all my tips from my job in recruitment, I also did a brainstorming session with my colleagues, Chloe and Lucy, so if you're watching, thank you very much. So hopefully I can share some useful tips with you now. So I wanted to split this video in two sections. Number one is the structure of the CV and number two is general tips. So the structure, it's very straightforward, it's very easy and you don't need to add any fancy stuff. Just stick with a basic structure so that the recruiter can read it easily. So starting with the very basic information of how long should it be, two A4 pages never longer than that. So starting from top to bottom, you have your name and your contact details. That means email, phone number, LinkedIn, social media accounts, home address, everything like that. First, next, a short summary about yourself. Next, your education. Next, your experience. And finally, any other stuff that you wanna add, which is hobbies, um, volunteering, interests, etc, etc. So that is the very basic structure. Name, contact details, summary, education, experience and other. And that's it. Stick to it. It's very, very easy, very straightforward. Don't try and, you know, stick out of the masses by doing anything unusual. Just stick to that. And now here's the next part. So that's general tips on how your CV should look. Number one is do not put a picture on your CV. I know that in some countries maybe you have to. So if you have to, then of course you can. But if you don't need to, like in the UK, just don't do it. It's seen as trying too hard. It's seen as almost a distraction from what's important, which is your experience and your education, anything like that. So do not put a picture. That's it just leave it plain text. The next one is about the summary. So the summary, as I said earlier, should be short. And when I say short, I mean very short. Ideally, maybe, I don't know, three or four sentences, a very quick snapshot of your experience, who you are, what you can do, and maybe tailored to the job that you're applying for. Next one is the kind of the structure of how you write your education and your jobs and your experience. Very simple, very important. Do put the name of your company and the job title you did in bold writing so that the recruiter can read it immediately. How they're gonna scan your CV is they're gonna look at the company and the job title. Look at the company and the job title. And if that's very difficult to find or not bold enough or not big enough, it can be a bit annoying and sometimes recruiters go through hundreds of CVs a day. So you wanna make sure it's easy to read where did you work? What did you do? And if that's maybe not one of the, you know, maybe you worked at a company that maybe not everyone knows, why don't you put a quick, um, you know, information in brackets about what your company does. And then describing what you did there, don't put text, don't put a whole long essay about at this company, I did this and I did this and I did this. No, just put it in bullet points, five bullet points maximum per job, the most important at the top, the least important at the bottom, and that's it. Easy to read, that is the number one rule actually. And the same goes for your education, like I said, bold writing, which uni did you go to, what is your degree in, what's your you know level of degree, and what did you do there in bullet points. Easy to read, straightforward. And finally, some general tips. So first of all, when you're writing about yourself, say I did this and I did that. Never write in third person. So believe me, I've seen CVs where people say, so if I wrote myself, they say, at this job, Sandy has done this and this, and Sandy has done this and this. No need to talk about yourself in third person. Just say, I have done this and this, and I have accomplished this and this. And also try to write in an appropriate way to the company you are applying for. Never try to be too corporate or too funny. Have a serious undertone, but you can show some personality in a CV. So for example, write what you're passionate about. Say, I, you know, I have very good experience in marketing. I've done this and this, but also I am extremely passionate about diving or cooking. And actually, you know, this is why, you know, I should be interesting for your company or anything like that. So say who you are, say what you love or why you love working in marketing or creative design, what inspired you to do it. But again, 
short and snappy. I think that's the right English expression. And I think these are the tips I do have. So very, very straightforward. There's pretty much three overarching themes, which is clear, short, and personality, I would say. And then hopefully you'll be fine. I we I wish you all the best and all the success that you want. Um, and I hope you'll get your dream job. I've made loads of other videos. What's happening? I've made loads of other uh, uh, I've made loads of other videos about jobs and finding a job and interview tips and all of this. So I guess they're probably in the card right now. So you can have a look there. And also of course you can subscribe to my channel for more similar videos. I do living abroad advice and also London lifestyle videos because I am an expert living in London and I love it. And um, yeah, I also work in recruitment, which is why sometimes I try and give you tips. And I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, you can follow my Instagram. That would be fantastic. And of course, subscribe. And I think I said that already. And that's it. Goodbye.